Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 22nd of April 1884, Thomas Stevens departed San Francisco on a large wheeled ordinary, also known as a penny farthing, to become the first person to cycle around the world. Stevens was born in England and emigrated to the USA when he was 17 years old. A contemporary magazine describes him as having worked at a railroad mill in Wyoming before securing a job at a Colorado mine where he had the idea of cycling across the United States. Having already developed a love of cycling, Stevens bought a 50-inch Columbia penny farthing in 1884. Built by the Pope Manufacturing Company of Chicago, it was on this bicycle that he departed San Francisco at 8am on the 22nd of April 1884. The first leg of Stevens' journey took him 3,700 miles east to Boston, which he reached after more than three months travelling along everything from wagon trails to canal towpaths. Determined to travel light, his handlebar bag contained only a change of socks and shirt, a raincoat that doubled as a tent, and a revolver. Stevens arrived in Boston on the 4th of August, making him the first person to cycle across North America. He then opted to wait until the following year to cross the Atlantic to Liverpool and begin the next part of his journey. Having crossed the Channel to France, he then cycled across Europe to Constantinople, before crossing into Asia. Stevens made it to Iran before being forced to turn back to Turkey, having been denied passage through both Siberia and Afghanistan. He then resorted to taking a steamship to Karachi, from where he cycled to Calcutta, boarded another ship to Hong Kong, from where more cycling to China's east region got him to a ship bound for Japan, where his incredible ride finished on the 17th of December 1886. His journal records, Distance actually wheeled around 13,500 miles. 